Hello and welcome to Ask the Doctor. My name is Jerry McGee and I'll be the host for today's show. We're here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at Wellness Associates with Dr. Eugene Goldberg. Thank Dr. You. Goldberg, thank you very much for your time. Uh, on today's episode, Doc, we want to talk about, and kind of just have some fun with this, yeah. uh, but we want to talk a little bit of, uh, more detailed about nutrition right. and this epidemic of health and, and, a, and a whole other really approach to a lot of the problems we deal with because uh, unfortunately a lot of the people that watch our show uh, they're, they're getting much better at it, but they truly don't understand the impact of nutrition. Uh, we know it's there, but we're not really kind of haven't bought into it yet. A good movie I saw recently, Jerry, we can talk about it, it's called Food Matters, uh, that you're responsible for everything that goes into your body, mm -hmm. okay, all the cookies, cake, ice cream, candy, mm -hmm. Pepsi, Coke. Uh, basically, your body runs on nutrition. Every cell, we have 55 trillion cells, they run on nutrients. They don't run on aspirin. They don't run on drugs. There's no cell in the body that requires a drug. So if you give your body the 90 nutrients, the body takes the raw materials. It's like giving your car high octane gas. Mm -hmm. Your body runs on raw nutrients and, and raw nutrients. So if you give your body the nutrients it needs, the good news is the body heals itself. And unfortunately, today in the you know in the technology age and the, you know the TVs and the and, and computers and everything, most of the marketing out there is I mean, is mostly done towards unhealthy lifestyles and unhealthy food. Yeah, McDonald's, cookies, cake, ice cream, candy, Pepsi, Coke, pies and pastries. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, they're advertising that stuff because if they didn't advertise, you wouldn't do it. I mean, I don't even see anybody advertising broccoli or advertising, yeah. well, I use a, a broccoli and apple. Mm -hmm. So no one's advertising that because I know to do it myself. Yeah. So therefore, if I would just quit advertising McDonald's, maybe people would quit going. I don't go. Well, I saw there was a, uh, a study, and I don't have the exact numbers in my head, but they talked about how it is much more cost effective for them to go out and educate somebody on upgrading to a, uh, a supersized value meal at McDonald's versus a uh, you know a healthy you know trying to turn you into a healthy eater. It was an interesting study that. that talked about how it's cheaper for a company to go after that and kind of get you to buy more of the bad food you're buying now right. versus getting you to you know to eat healthy. So there's another movie that was out a few years ago. It's called Super Size Me, and they took mm -hmm. this guy. And he was normal, and he just started eating junk food for one month. In one month, he was like deathly ill. He had high blood pressure, high cholesterol. This was a young guy. He was basically near death from just eating junk food for one month. Yeah. Okay. And he supersized everything: breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, when we're when we're trying to educate people on on this problem, the the, the problem I think we're having that that I see at least is that when they're out and they've been going to their medical doctors right now, and if they bring up this term of nutrition. It's almost like they're kind of looked down upon, like, what do you mean, you know, that this is what you need, not, you know, not healthy eating. Let me ask you a question, Jerry. Let's say you went to a fresh restaurant and you ordered chow mein. It's not on the menu. They're not going to make it. They don't know how to make it. You're not going to get it. Mm -hmm. So if you ask somebody in a medical doctor's office something they don't know about, they're going to look at you like you have three heads. They're not learning or being taught this in medical school. In fact, I heard they're getting 20 seconds in four years of nutrition, 20 yeah. seconds. So therefore, 20 seconds, I mean, I've been studying nutrition for years. I'm still studying. I'm still learning. Yeah. Because the research in the last 10 years has been tremendous. Okay, it's been proven that nutrition is what heals you. Mm -hmm. Okay, antioxidants, phytonutrients. Okay, we did another uh, video on nanogreens, which is 10 fruits and vegetables, nano size, that goes right into your cells. Mm -hmm. Okay, gives you energy. Okay, energy is the light, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Okay, in fact, there's a theory that all diseases are a result of lack of energy. In other words, you don't lose energy because you get old. You get old because you lose your energy. Mm -hmm. How do you lose it? How do you get it back? Your diet, your lifestyle, your nutrition, and your structure. And when you go to medical doctor office, does he talk to you about those things, Jerry? No, they, I mean, one, the visits are very quick. It's almost like they want to get you in, pull out the prescription pad, and get you out the door. That's called a DRG. You know? Diagnosis yeah. is determining how much time they're going to spend with you, which yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah. I don't treat the patient's insurance company, Jerry. I treat the patient. Yeah. And one of the things I want to encourage our, our viewers to do is to, to visit your site at AskDrGoldberg.com. We've got an area there that looks at reviews. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you really need to go and click on that and read what some of the people are saying about their experience here. Because one of the things that I know a lot of people have said, they, they like how you spend time with them. They're not rushed in and out the door. Uh, they like the environment. Uh, I mean, it's just a whole new concept uh, of healthcare. I mean, it's not a rushed thing. Uh, you know, it doesn't feel like you're in, on a, uh, you know, an assembly line. There's, uh, you know, there, there's actually, uh, so you, you really want to take care of that person. I can tell you, funny, I said I got a new patient here the other day, and I didn't even treat him yet. I just did the orthopedic neurological x-ray him, and, and I said, hope we can help you with this. And he said, you know what? I feel better already. Mm -hmm. And he, I said, why? He says, 
because you know what my problem is and you gave me hope. And I didn't even treat him, Jerry. Right. So to me, hope is the first step towards healing mm -hmm. because it's honest optimism based on personal effort. And that's what he got here and he felt better already. I didn't even treat him. Yeah. And, and I, one of the other things that I really uh, kind of am against, because I don't think the people truly understand the impact, and I got a lot of friends that are like this, they, every time they go to a doctor, they get a different lifelong prescription. This is true. Okay. So they might be taking, you know, five, six, seven different drugs. And I, I don't care how good your pharmacist is, or, or I, don't, I still don't believe that they can truly determine the interaction of all those on your body. See, there's Dr. Roger Williams, I mentioned him in the article, mm -hmm. that he came up with this thing called biochemical individual. That means that everybody is a biochemical individual and that what you need from a prescription is different from what I need. So if everybody gets the same prescription mm -hmm. that week, which a lot of times they do because the drug salesman tells them to, mm -hmm. that's not going to resonate with your body. You're not going to respond to that. Okay? So nobody knows except God what 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There's people in this country that are taking 30 drugs a day. Oh, yeah. You can't be healthy, Jerry, with 30 different drugs. Why? Because they all interact and it's an individual thing because nobody except God knows what that's going to do. That is actually a disease, Jerry. It's called polypharmacy. Poly meaning many pharmacy drugs. If you're taking more than three drugs a day, that's actually a disease. Mm -hmm. And one of these things that is we're talking about that, I, and I know you're a fan and I'm a fan. Uh, you know, Dr. Oz is trying to, you know, just like we're doing here, uh, you know, trying to educate the public on what are the options out there, this thing of alternative medicine, this thing of, of how proper nutrition, uh, and a lot of these, you know, uh, things that you can eat on a healthy level actually act like a prescription, you know, or do basically what a prescription, you know, will do for you without the side effects. I think the prescription is just imitating Mother Nature. Okay, like for instance, there's this drug Digitalis. I don't know if you've ever heard of this. Digitalis is just from an herb from Germany. What they did is they took the Digitalis herb and they just changed the molecular structure and they made it into a drug so they can patent it. Mm -hmm. So really, it's the opposite. It's like the drug companies are piggy banking on Mother Nature. If you just go directly to Mother Nature, that resonates with your body because your body's made out of DNA. A lot of people don't know this. All nutrition has a DNA. It's from a live source, okay, from a plant or an animal. Drugs have no DNA. So therefore, that destroys your DNA. So therefore, that's what you want. You want to do natural that has a DNA from a plant or a food source versus something that a drug. No drug has a DNA, so it's not recognized from your body. It's considered a toxin. That's why your liver and your kidney immediately have to eliminate it. Mm -hmm. Motrin destroys your kidneys. Tylenol destroys your liver. Aspirin destroys your stomach. Why would you want to do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think people really, uh, you know, and it's not, uh, you know, changing your lifestyle is not the easiest thing to do. Yeah, I mean, it's it's something that takes uh, a little bit of doing, takes some education. Uh, you know, I think it's and it, it's going to be, and, and I think you know, the, it kind of goes along this category of too many people look at eating healthy, kind of like this term diet. You know, I'm not a, a big fan of any diet. Doesn't uh, work, right? I, I think you're looking at a lifestyle change uh, that you can take in little steps. You don't have to go from point A to you know to point Z overnight. Be patient right? with yourself, right? But little steps. If you'll just take those little steps and start today, before you know it, it's going to be a habit. You're going to enjoy what you're eating. Your energy level is going to be up, and you don't have to go kind of cold turkey on something. I had this one patient the other day. She told me, this is funny. makes it all worthwhile. She just told me that during Easter, she didn't want any of the junk anymore. She's mm -hmm. eating so good, and she's on the nano mm -hmm. greens. I have her on standard process. She's feeling so good that she told me that during Easter, last year at this time, she was craving all this junk food mm -hmm. and, and chocolate. And she didn't want it anymore. Her body just says, I don't need that anymore. Yeah. And see, to me, that makes it all worthwhile. Yeah. Yeah, I think that whole, you know, your body craving these things is, you know, is... Uh, a symptom. Right, you know. And then you got, you know, your mind is reading into it and saying, I need, uh, you know, the McDonald's Happy Meal. <laughs> I need all this stuff. Well, they actually know. put MSG into the food. And what that does is that excites you. It's an excitotoxin. It stimulates your brain. And you're actually addicted to the junk food. Mm -hmm. So they do that on purpose. Okay, yeah. just like in cigarettes, they put opium in the cigarettes, so you're addicted to the opium. Mm -hmm. So when you give up cigarettes, it's no different than giving up heroin. So I say, Susie, give up uh, smoking. That's like telling her giving up heroin. Yeah. And one of the interesting, I, I, I think, I'm not sure if it was on Dr. Oz or where I, I heard this, but they talked about when you go into a grocery store and you're going to do your shopping, you should always shop, do majority of your shopping on the outside walls. That's where the fresh food is. Of the grocery store yeah. versus 
the interior portion. Uh, I've heard that grocery stores are basically, the majority of them are just uh, dead food lying in state. It's a mausoleum. It's mm -hmm. the dead food lying in state. Now, if you go around that and you go where the fruits and vegetables are and the fresh meat, then you're okay. Stay away from the processed food, the, pack, the macaroni and cheese processed food, mm -hmm. and stay away from the potato chips and cookies, cake, ice yeah. cream. So if you follow that guideline, you'll be fine. Yeah, and, and I encourage you to do this because it is an amazing thing how it's laid out like that. And every store is the same. Because uh, I, I looked at that and I thought, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. And, and it is amazing how if you'll focus on that outside, you, you, you're just, it's a total different lifestyle than all that, you know, processed stuff. A good rule of thumb is you want to get everything fresh. Okay, if you can't get it fresh, get it frozen. If you mm -hmm. can't get it frozen, get a can. So just mm -hmm. follow that and you'll be yeah. okay. And, and go out and, and this will be a little plug for our local farmers and, and the local little uh, kind of flea markets. You yeah. know, go out and support those yeah. people. Uh, they're growing probably the most important thing that you can purchase, and that's, you know, fresh vegetables, uh, you know, fresh fruit, you know, that's where you need to be, you know, uh, spending a majority of your money on that type of product. So, you know, we just encourage you to, you know, pick up the phone and call Wellness Associates, come down, you know, talk to Dr. Goldberg about nutrition, some changes you want to make. Maybe your, you know, your energy level's not where it needs to be. Maybe you kind of feel like you're, you know, walking around like a zombie. I, you know, one of the things that I often say to people, Doc, is people have been walking around feeling bad for so long, they don't know what feeling good feels like. That's exactly right. They're so screwed up, they don't know they're screwed up. They don't even know what they don't even know. Yeah, their because normal has come <laughs> down to like, you know, what used to be here is now here. And they accept it. Right. They, see, I'm the yeah. opposite, Jerry. Mm -hmm. See, I'm feeling so good. If something's not right, I'm going to get it right. How do I get yeah. it right? Something in my diet, my lifestyle, any more exercise my nutrition, okay, mm -hmm. and then my structure. I get adjusted, I get massaged. It's essential things of life, yeah. okay? And if you're watching this show and you're one of these people that, that comes home, sits on the couch, puts the TV on, and, and basically passes out, you need to look at nutrition, you know? I mean, so many people are fatigued and they, they don't understand why that is. Uh, it comes down to what Dr. Goldberg is talking about. You need a thorough evaluation, a thorough education on all of the things that can help you. So, you know, with that, we just hope that you'll kind of, you know, check out Dr. Goldberg at AskDrGoldberg.com. A lot of great info on that site. Check out the reviews. See what other people are saying about the, the practice here and the benefits that they've had with chiropractic care and how it can impact you. And then just pick up the phone and, and schedule your, you know, your evaluation. And as I always say, Dr. Goldberg offers a priceless tool, and that's a free new patient evaluation. So it's a win-win for everybody. Come down and see firsthand what he can do. Uh, and I think you'll be amazed at the results and just how much better you're going to feel. So thank you very much for watching our show today. We hope you found it uh, to be educational and informative. Uh, we encourage you to check back often. We've got a lot of great shows coming up, a lot of things planned for the future uh, to help educate you on, on just how to become a healthy person and live that long and healthy life uh, that we all strive to. So thank you very much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you on future episodes.